Today I'd like to tie a very simple bluegill fly, um, sometimes called the captain or the bluegill killer. Um, you can use a brass bead or a, a tungsten bead on here depending on how fast you want the fly to sink. It's got a lot of action with the tail and it's an awfully good bluegill fly. To tie it I'm going to be using a 1x long shank hook. This happens to be a size 10. I like to tie it in size 10, size 12. Um, I have a um, 1 8 um, bead, this is tungsten, and I'm going to be using some black Fevis thread. Start behind the bead and lay a base of thread down the shank. We'll bring our thread back behind the bead. And for a tail, I'm going to be using some medium brown, round, orange rubber legs. Let's start them just right behind the bead. And secure them in place here. Then I'm going to stretch them down the shank. And tie them off real good, right above the point of the barb, excuse me. Okay, we'll bring it forward and we're going to clip it off just a little bit longer than the bead, the shank. Okay, for the body, <clears throat> going to be using some Ultra Chenille Micro Black. Start it behind the bead. This allows us to keep the body even, no bumps in it or lumps. Okay, I'll use my rotor to move this forward. And we'll tie it off behind the bead. And we'll clip it off. And put in a half hitch right here to hold this in place. And I'm going to put a hackle in here, so I'm going to make a little bit of a base to that hackle. Okay, for hackle, I'm going to be using a black saddle hackle. Pull the barbules off of both ends so I just have the stem, something like this. And we're going to tie it in with the dull side down. I'll wrap my hackle forward. I'm going to make two wraps. And we'll tie it off. And we'll clip it. Get a couple more ramps to hold the, the hackles back, or the barbules back. Okay, we'll pull the tails. 
separate them. And we have the captain.